Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Anthony Fauci is lashing back, kind of, at Republicans and Elon Musk for calling on him to be prosecuted. Watch what he said over the weekend. I mean, there's no response to that craziness, Jim. I mean, prosecute me for what? What are, th what are they talking about? <laughs> I mean, I wish I could figure out what the heck they were talking about. I think they're just going off the deep end. Really? Here to react is Iowa Congresswoman and member of the House Coronavirus Subcommittee, Marionette Miller Meeks. Congresswoman, what are you talking about? Maybe prosecute is a little extreme, but he sees no, I he seems to have no idea why people seem to be upset with him. Well, that's the craziness of all of it. Uh, it's not uh, crazy to think that the American people think that he misled them, that he knew more than he was willing to tell. And certainly, he withheld information from Congress and from the American people. You know, what's, I think, most striking is his lack of humility and his arrogance. In the clip you, you played when he was talking to Jim Costa, it reminded me of President Clinton, and it depends on what the definition of is is. Um, this may have not been bioterrorism or a bioweapon, but certainly our oversight hearings have showed uh, that uh, the virus emanated from a lab in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Uh, we also know that it's possible he lied under oath, especially with Senator Rand Paul, when he said that there was no funding. We know that uh, from emails, we have a thread, we have receipts, that there was indirect funding to the Wuhan Institute of Virology from the NIH. So it's certainly not off the deep end that the American people want him held accountable, and that's what our oversight hearings are going to do. So you had Robert Redfield say he was locked out of certain meetings as CDC director because he wouldn't march in lockstep with the people that thought the origins were uh, from, a, uh, from a bat now, uh, and, uh, out in a wet market. He says that absolutely didn't occur, and it's unfortunate that Robert Redfield said that. Really? The other thing is, here we go. Here is the nuance of Anthony Fauci. He's saying, okay, I think it did. I didn't say it came from a lab, but I didn't say it didn't come from a lab. But I do think it came from all these data shows him it came from a natural occurrence, I mean a bat in a wet market. Now listen to what he's doing. Listen close. A lab leak could be that someone was out in the wild, maybe looking for different types of viruses and bats, got infected, went into a lab, and was being studied in the lab, and then it came out of the lab. But if that's the definition of a lab leak, Jim, then that still is a natural occurrence. Wow. You see what he's doing? He's doing the same thing as we've heard again and again, and it's why he's mistrusted by the American people. You know, um, in our hearing that we had last week, it, uh, we have, uh, again, the receipts that he was one of the authors and the genesis for the uh, proximal origins, uh, and that, uh, you know, he didn't take any uh, ownership of that, no authorship of that. We know that uh, from scientific journals, I've been published in peer reviewed journals, there is supposed to be disclosure, financial disclosure, any conflicts of interest, but we know he pushed that along with Dr. Collins in order to obfuscate at a uh, you know, obscure and suppress that this came from a lab leak. So this is just nonsense. And again, it's extraordinarily important that we know the origins. I said this after our first hearing uh, that we had on origins back in uh, June of 2001. And the reason we need to know is that the international community, we need to know what kind of research is being done. Gain of function research was prohibited. Then the NIH uh, released their, rescinded their uh, prohibition. Uh, you know, do, are they trying to hide this because there was indirect funding of gain of function research? Was there personal financial gain? Um, do they feel uh, complicit uh, that they allowed a type of research that may have laid, uh, led to the virus becoming more contagious and more easily uh, transmitted in humans? So we need to know about lab mm -hmm. safety. There was not proper oversight by NIH or by EcoHealth of this laboratory. Um, uh, we, there wasn't disclosure um, when they knew that the virus was contagious. Contagious, and there was human-to-human wow. human transmission. So we need to know those things, and that's why it's important that we know the origins and why we have these oversight hearings to hold Dr. Fauci accountable. Right. Let's just call him. He says he hasn't been called yet. The other thing, remember, I didn't shut down schools. Really? Okay. He didn't, uh, he didn't talk about masking. He always has a way of getting out of things, and hopefully he'll be held accountable eventually. 
Uh, thanks so much, Congresswoman. Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.